Okay, this last knot is called the butterfly. So the butterfly is really important if you were to do something called the Australian, Australian Ballet. What the Australian Ballet is, a lot of times is used in like a middle school or high school setting, so I'm really disappointed we don't get to do this either. But basically, you would take a long rope out in the ropes course and you would maybe put 20 butterflies in it. Each butterfly you then hook your carabiner to and each student in class would be connected. Instead of actually doing the belay motion that I'm going to teach you soon, the students are just going to walk back. And so with 20 people's body weights, it's going to make that one person on the other side go up in the air. And then, then when that person needs to come down, the people will walk forward and it will bring their body down. So it's really nice, um, but it's a pretty easy knot, I would say. So you're going to take your end of the rope. This time, instead of putting your hand out like this, you're going to put it like this in front of you. So like you're covering your mouth, okay? You're going to put the end of the rope, the short end, to make it short, just like so. Okay, so hold that with your thumb. The head of the snake is facing away from you at this point, okay? So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my long rope and I'm going to wrap it around my fingertips and I'm going to make just a loop, just like that, okay? And then you see this space in between, I'm going to come and on this side, you see I'm kind of making a cross. So it has one, two, three on this side and one, two, three on this side. I'll show that again really quick. So I'm going to wrap around my fingertips and then I'm going to wrap, oops, I'm sorry, wrap in the middle. Don't do it super tight. Don't cut off your circulation. Um, you want to have a little bit of room. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to, let's see, Ooh, let me move. So if I'm looking at my hand, okay, you see the three different loops. The one closest to my fingertips, I am going to shimmy up. I'm going to kind of pull it so it makes it a little bit bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it flat down towards the palm of my hand. So I'm laying it on top of the other two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it underneath. I'm going to push it underneath those two. Okay, and you can grab onto that. Then I'm going to grab both ropes and pull. So there's my bite. And it kind of looks just a little funky. But the last step that you're going to do is you're going to take the two ends after you pull and you're going to split it. And I want you to pull tight. So it looks like that. And that's where the carabiner would hook. Like I said, you need to have like 20 of these for a class or however many people are in on that element. So we're going to try to make four on our rope. If your rope's a little bit smaller, make sure you at least get three. Okay. So then I'm going to just do it all over again. I'm going to put the knot on the back side of my hand. The rope that I'm still working with is on the front side. I am going to wrap around my fingertips. I am going to wrap in the middle. And then when I'm looking at my hand, I'm going to shimmy up, lay across, push under, grab the two bottoms, pull, and then split, make it tight. So now I have two butterflies. Okay, I need to make another one. Put both butterflies on the back side. <clears throat> Fingertips in the middle. Shimmy up on the one closest to my fingertips. Lay down. Push under. Grab both. And pull. And like I said, I want four. I have three, so let's do it one more time. Okay, fingertips in the middle. Shimmy up. Lay down across. Push under. Pull both and split. So I have one, two, three, and four. That is the butterfly knot.